Welcome back to the channel and in today's Instruments of Destruction video I'm going to be trying to create an earthquake machine to topple these buildings with now what you see right here is not an earthquake machine. This is essentially a shockwave blast hammer that was my first experiment with shockwaves and when I first built it, the impact it had looked something like this. But apparently the game's undergone some updates since I first built this because now these servos here appear to be much, much stronger and this is the impact it has now. You wanna see me do it again? This time backwards, watch this. So yeah, I think it's a little more powerful than it used to be. It's gotta be at least three times as powerful. But that is clearly not an earthquake machine. That is now essentially a nuclear blast simulating machine. And uh, to create an earthquake machine though, we are gonna be using the same game mechanism, which is this shockwave effect that has been introduced into the game. But I'm actually going to try to harness that power in a way. I don't know how hard this is going to be, but I wanna harness it in a way that I can create something that repeatedly thumps the ground to make it seem like we're simulating an earthquake. I want it to feel like we're simulating an earthquake and not feel like we're just uh, summoning the infinity gauntlet or something. All right, so I don't know if you're aware of this, but earthquake machines are actually a thing that exists in real life. They have a little bit more of a subtle effect that you can't really see. You more have to be there to feel it. Not that I've actually felt it, but uh, there are videos of them if you want to look them up. But I think the best way to do this is going to be, oh, a fast piston. I wonder how strong a fast piston is because we essentially want to create like an almost ground vibration effect with these. So we got pistons, we got fast pistons, we have large pistons, side piston, we have all kinds of pistons apparently. Uh, let me, I'm just gonna spawn all three of these pistons. Let's see what kind of options we have. What's the difference between all of these? All right, I'm actually gonna set all these pistons on different controls and we're just gonna see the difference without changing any settings. Uh, let's see what this does. Oh, that fast piston compresses like suspension automatically. Okay. So wait, if I just hold it down. All right, we need to set we need to set different settings. We need these to oscillate, and I believe that there is actually an oscillation setting. Oh, I thought some of these had an oscillation setting. Oh, there we go. Okay, so fast piston is not the piston that we want. It does not have an oscillate setting. So now we just have piston and large piston. Which one of these is going to be better when set to oscillate? All right, so by default <laughs> oh, this is this looks a little awkward, but y you know what we're testing. This is this has a purpose. There's the small piston. Oh, it's a toggle. Interesting. I wasn't expecting it. Oh, and there's the large piston. All right, I think small the, the regular size piston is going to be the piston that we want for this. So if I maximize the strength of that piston, oh yes, oh yes, we are going to create an earthquake machine. I hope. Look at look at this. This is we're going. We are a free roam, free range jackhammer right now. <laughs> you know, this would probably actually happen to a real jackhammer if you just turn it on and set it free. <laughs> Be free little, oh, you're dead. All right, now I know I'm just using a regular piston, but I have another experiment that needs experimenting here. It's already incredibly fast at max speed, but this game has an overdrive, which doubles the speed of whatever it's attached to. And I just want to confirm that it works on pistons. All right, let's see if we can see a difference here. Normal piston. Okay, and then overdriven piston. Oh, wow. Yep, okay. I'm going to say there is a clear difference. Am I going to break the game? Oh my goodness. I just realized I could make this extend even farther. So now, oh, look at that. This is on lowest strength. Okay, so we don't, for an earthquake machine, we do not want it going that far though. I almost feel like that is actually pretty good right there. I think that is kind of similar to what we're looking for. Okay, so now what is gonna be on the end of this that is going to be repeatedly slamming into the ground to cause this earthquake? Should we have a wrecking ball? That actually looks kind of epic. All right, so now all that's left is just to just convert this thing into some type of vehicle that can drive around. 
All right, to help me with this, I'm using the superior wedge shape. It's gonna give a nice compartment for our earthquake generator to sit in. All right, so I was gonna use wheels until I realized I gotta put turning on those things and I didn't really wanna deal with that. So instead I'm using these solid pipes here and then attaching some giant treads to it. We'll still be able to see the ball in here. And I can also change the shape of these wedges to be longer. Uh, oh, this one I actually have to, hold on. All right, let's do a quick test of our controls. Looks like I can drive around just fine. Now, how does it feel with this thing? All right, we are not, we are actually just at ground level. So I'm going to extend the um, extension by 0.1. Oh, oh I, I guess I can only go by 0.2. I was actually expecting it to be hitting the ground, but nope, not yet. All right, one of these settings, 1.4, is this gonna cover it? It's still not doing it, what? 1.6, oh, there we go. Okay, it's not fast enough yet to cause any shockwaves or earthquakes, but there's something else that this is missing. Actually, I wanna do a couple of things here. For some reason, I just wanna add flex beams to this so it doesn't look like it's just a weird empty space. I think that makes it look a little bit more, a little bit better, I don't know, it's not much. All right, but the big thing I need to add are these attachers. That is set to Q. Will those attach? Okay, yes, that will attach to the ground, which will then allow me all of the earthquakes without bouncing myself up off of the ground. So let's keep those there. This is what we're looking like, and that, that's looking good, but I don't think this is actually gonna cause any damage because we need to see those shock waves, and I think it'll actually have some screen shake as well. Um, but let's just confirm real quick. All right, earthquake machine, prototype one, activate. Uh, how you doing there, buildings? How you feeling? Do you feel it? Just sending good vibes is all. All right, well, clearly this isn't strong enough. Let's make it stronger. Here we go. Okay, I'm actually surprised. I'm wondering if we need to extend it further or if we need it to go faster. I would kind of like it to go as fast as possible without breaking the game. So let's see. Uh... Okay, I'm really surprised here. I'm really surprised. Are we, is this not, is this a failed concept? Is this not gonna work? I'm going up to 3.0 now. Wait, what? Oh, something interesting happens here. It appears that the faster it goes, it actually doesn't give it time to complete its range. It actually just, it, it's literally just vibrating pretty much. But you know what, maybe we can use that to our advantage where we change the max position to be a lot more. Let's see now. Okay. Okay, that's feeling like I should have shockwaves by now, don't you think? Let's see what happens. I'm gonna bring it up to uh, strength 4.0. Is that gonna make it better or worse? You know what? I think the strength is actually making it worse because it just makes it go faster and not as far. Let's go back down to 1.0 and see if I can generate shockwaves at this. Okay, no. This is more delicate than I thought it was going to be. I'm, sh I'm sure this can work. We can set this strong enough. All right, you know what? I'm doing it. Let's go up to max strength. Let's see if that helps. Am I just like completely off base with how this is supposed to work? Yeah, it almost feels like once you reach a certain level of vibration, it's like you're not doing much anymore. Oh, okay. That's interesting. All right, I think we need the right combination of strength and position. So let's go max position here. If this doesn't cause shockwaves. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Those are definite shockwaves. We are now finally creating an earthquake. You can even see the screen shake. And you know what? I have screen shake on low right now. Let me put it on medium and see how that feels. I want us to feel this earthquake too. There we go, the screen is shaking a little bit, but it feels like this is slow now. Let's go max uh, strength again. All right, so we is viable. We have achieved viability of the concept. Now I wanna fine tune it to like, where is the minimum I can do to start creating some vibrations, like some shockwave vibrations. Here we go. This appears to be the first setting that gave me the earthquake when I was just increasing settings little by little. So this looks kind of intense to be honest, but let's see how intense it actually is. So how do I, I need to get this off the ground, please. Off the ground. It's actually really hard to lift it up. Unleash the earthquake. Oh man, the particles. 
Can I turn off particles in particular? Here we go, particles. Let's see what very low looks like. There we go. Look at this. You know what I love about this? It's only damaging the building that I'm right next to. That is actually awesome. Look at that range. It's like you can see the cone of effect. That's actually kind of amazing how uh, how controlled it is. All right, let's move a little bit closer. And... Oh, we're doing- we're getting a little bit of collateral damage over here. I got too close to that building. How much until this building falls over? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. It happened. Yeah, you can see it affects everything within a certain radius, including up here. And there we go. We've just taken down a single building at a time. That's kind of awesome. All right, but of course, we're just starting- this is like the minimum. This is the minimum level earthquake machine. And I think that this is kind of satisfies exactly what I was looking for, but you can't build an earthquake machine like this and not have the sliders eventually go up to max, which is exactly what I'm about to do. But I just, you gotta do a little bit more destruction with your first earthquake machine. Oh no. Now I'm wearing a building. Like my new outfit. I'm really looking for some constructive criticism on this new fashion trend. I guess deconstructive criticism would make more sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. All right, it's time. It's time to ramp up some of the settings here. These are the settings, tune strength four and max position four. Now I suspect that if I tune the strength all the way up to six, uh, I think it's gonna be worse. Let's see if that actually is true. All right, here we go. Yeah, it doesn't even generate shock waves. So it's more about the distance than the speed, it seems like. So let's bring this back down to four because that was kind of a sweet point. And let's change the max position to five. So it's actually going to try to extend further, which should make it hit with more oomph to it, which uh, should result in bigger, bigger earthquakes. Here we go. It feels slower, but it is definitely way more damage. Just look at that. Look at how much we're eating through and how much higher we're eating through it as well. Still uh, at a controlled enough level to take out just one building, which I think is kind of awesome for an earthquake machine. All right, so we still have room to go. So now let's put the position up to maximum of six. All right, so this should be stronger, but it's probably going to be a lower frequency of uh, hits on the ground. Let's see what how it feels. Huh. It actually doesn't feel much different. Yeah, this feels about the same as the last one. Maybe slightly worse. It's actually kind of hard to tell. Whoa! Oh, that's what happens if I don't have my, uh, my attacher, my attachment hooks down. All right, well, let's max out all the sliders on this then. I tried the reinforced slider that actually made it weaker somehow. So I'm not using the reinforced slider because I've already tested it out and it made it just really, really weak. Maybe I'll try it just once for the camera though. All right, so now here is maximum speed and maximum uh, distance. All right, that is definitely stronger now. Wow, this looks amazing. This actually looks pretty amazing. All right, let's just try reinforced real quick. I'm just gonna try it right here for now. Okay, maybe reinforced at higher settings is actually better. It's hard to tell just by looking at it, but let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Okay, I was wrong about reinforced. I was definitely wrong about reinforced. This might be the most intense. This is the most intense one yet. There's really no question about that. This is just insanity. Look at our screen. All right, I'm gonna take out every building with this one. Oh, and there goes that one. All right, hold on, hold on, move closer. Ready? Yeah, that one's gone. All right, next building. There we go. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna land on top of this building. There we go. Oh, oh, this is bad. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this is really bad, but I made a shock 
shockwave. Oh, what am I doing here? I made a shockwave just by falling out of the sky. All right, I think I've reached maximum effectiveness here with how I've designed this. All right, I just gotta be really careful about the order of which I do my operations here. I gotta make sure I attach to the ground before I hit the earthquake button. You know what I just realized? My earthquake button is the letter E. It's the E key. E for earthquake. I didn't even plan that. That just happened to be the thing. Look at this. Oh, oh. Why haven't I, why didn't I realize? I gotta go slow motion. Of course, I gotta go slow motion. Wait, what's happening to that building? That building just flew into the other building and collapsed it relatively unprovoked. I didn't do that. That wasn't me, I promise. All right, here we go. I'm at minimum game speed. Let's see how this looks now. This is actually so cool just to watch this happening. What's interesting is it seems to be consistently every other hit is actually generating a shockwave. And man, look at this building has been disintegrated except for the top of it is just floating up here. This is cool. All right, all right, all right. Here, let's uh, put up speed a little bit again. I always love it when it ramps up slowly into full speed. I'm gonna go in between these last two buildings. We're gonna take them both out here. All right, but we're gonna take them out at 10, 20% speed this time. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's every other hit. Hmm, I wonder if that means that I could like set the settings better somehow to make every hit be a shockwave and have it be um, potentially twice as effective. At least as far as the speed of destruction goes. Man. This, this is a great earthquake machine. Uh, I mean, these buildings are absolutely terribly designed to withstand earthquakes as you can see. All right, let's ramp it up. Now we're at, now we're at full speed. You know, I could go double speed. I don't know, I don't really know what the point of that is. <laughs> it just looks like it's freaking out. I mean, it is, it literally is freaking out. All right, and then I have detached myself from the ground. Let's see how it handles the uh, earthquakes now. That was a lot more gentle than I was expecting, but what happens when we hit the ground again? That was pretty cool. That was actually pretty cool. Oh, that was satisfaction. <laughs> front flip. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Nailing this front flip. Look at that. Actually nailed it. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I got this. We're all good. A little bit of debris cleanup over here to do. There we go. Good enough. Doing a front flip into the water now. <laughs> All right, well that is the earthquake generator. Super successful. Do you have any other ideas that you'd like to see me try to do in Instruments of Destruction? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.